Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and I'm the owner and creator behind CL Vintage Finds. And today we are at the Goodwill in Troy, New York. I never start all the way down at this end. This is kind of the soft goods sections, pillows. This yarn looked really nice. It looked like Angora, but I don't think it was Angora. And so did that one. So some pretty yarns. I never come down here, so I thought I would check it out just to see if we see anything. And there's definitely some cute stuff. I'm filming this on Monday. And so this would be the start of a new color for the week. The color this week is red. So items um, marked with red are 40% off. And then on Tuesdays, they go to a dollar. And then Wednesdays, right back up to 40% off. I'll be honest with you, I checked around a lot today and um, there were very few red tags. So um, just a few. I think that being one of them. Okay, so we're just kind of moving through the aisles. And they, like I said previously, they do a nice job with their end caps. I thought this little salt and pepper chicken thing was cute. Didn't realize I had it out of frame most of the time, but basically the salt sits on top of the pepper. Thought these were pretty, definitely mid-century but not a complete set. A lot of pretty things, definitely a lot of pretty things today. And I'll let you know when we get to them what I did purchase. So little bit of everything, lots of clear glass, an entire cart of clear glass. You can tell the sections that don't interest me because I kind of skip right by them. I love little trays like this, um, but there was only two of them. So I always wanted one of these oil and um, vinegar things. It just it, it felt like it felt like it was going to break in my hands, like like the glass felt that. Thin, although I know it's probably from like the 80s and it's lasted this long so it, it's probably not as frail as it seemed when it was in my hand if it felt more substantial I would have grabbed it for sure so now we're kind of moving into electronics and also some cool metal pieces as well you know like a K-pod holder, and utensil holders, things like that. But now, now we're going into, I guess, metals on top and then electronics down below, pans, things like that as well. Here I'm just trying to show you some pricing, just so you're aware. I think the price was on the inside. So, cool stuff for sure. Lots of coffee cups. They have coffee cups in a couple of different places. So these must be the ones that are basically white. They brought out a couple of fresh carts when I got there. I was here for the opening. So I'll show you the fresh carts, I think, at the end. Okay. This section, I thought, had some really pretty stuff. What I'm showing you here is that I believe these are from um, Dollar Tree or else they're super similar to ones that are Dollar Tree. This was, you know, I didn't love the pattern, but it was had Limoges America on it, which I'm not familiar with. I'd have to check into what that is, but it said it was 22 karat gold, the gold leafing on it. So pretty, not my style. Here, I thought this was a pretty piece, but the head is broken off the little one. So that's what I was pointing out there. So definitely lots of cool stuff. 
I thought this chip and dip was kind of cool and it's nice that all the parts seem to be there. I thought those were pretty and very mid-century. I bought several pieces of this pattern. Um, I just think it's really pretty, very springy looking. And, um, and I can tell you some of the, I bought a serving piece. You'll get, if, if you tune in next Tuesday, you'll see my haul. And um, I, I just thought it would make the three plates that I purchased would make a great three-tiered tray. And then I always am grabbing serve, serving pieces when I find a pretty pattern because everybody can use extra serving pieces. So I thought the birds, I like birds. I thought that was pretty, but not pretty enough. So you can see this is back into like the orange section. Finally, you know, the uh, Halloween stuff is dwindled down to almost nothing. Still some um, Christmas stuff at this store. I didn't film it because there was an employee kind of working that section, consolidating and clearing space. So I thought this was kind of cool, but it just felt really cheap. And I liked that it still had the utensils with it. I kept getting error messages that the lighting wasn't, um, it, you know, wasn't good for filming. So, um, especially I didn't think you're going to be able to see too much on that black section. I thought some of these were pretty, but I did not grab any. I have a lot of dishes, so they've got to, at this point in time, be something really special. Um, I grabbed some Noritake last week at the other Goodwill that were really pretty. Um, they've got to, you know, really be super different, something unusual for me before I'll grab them these days. So, again, as always, if you see something that you, that I missed that you would have grabbed, let me know. Drop me a comment. This stuff was, I mean, this whole section here was all still in the box. This was, I always grab these, but I have a bunch of them at this point. I just was kind of grabbing them to check the pricing. Um, this is all the little figurines. And now back up to the front, now to the blue section. I thought this bowl was so pretty, but I, you know, it'll take up a lot of space in my booth and I'm not positive it'll sell. I thought this little set was pretty and it was nice that it had all the pieces. Lots of cool stuff. I think the green coffee cups are so pretty. I like that color. It's also kind of springy. So this store, I'm so impressed lately. There's just, it just has so much merchandise out. And, and it seems to be turning over because when I go back, I thought that was funny. Um, you know, I'm not seeing the same stuff there. Thought that was cute. So super impressive. And they, they really do do a nice job, especially on the end cap, setting everything up. I, I came so close to buying this set. I just thought it was different and pretty. I liked the navy blue with the gold. Really pretty. Half-used candle. I thought this was cute since it was a cat. I think the price on it was like $4.99 or something. I think I show you. Oh, of course, I'm out of frame. Three ninety nine. So I don't know. I didn't have a great feel to it. I loved that blue and white vase with the gold, but I know it's missing a top, so I didn't grab it. Here's a fresh cart. 
these foxes are cute, but I'm pretty sure they're pretty modern. So $1.99 for... It's good that they put prices on each piece because that way somebody doesn't steal one and you're left with just one. And then, yeah, I didn't see too much in the carts today. I just kind of showing you what's in them. There wasn't a lot in either... I think I said this already. I got here before the store opened and got, you know, and waited for it to open. And then I just wanted to... Look how beautiful they have the books all displayed by color and stuff. I mean, this store is really going above and beyond. And there were some people that I had to kind of maneuver around, so I went really fast through these, but was trying to show you all the artwork. And I think I circle back. So, let's see. Yeah. So, I don't know. I just, I'm just really impressed with this shop lately. more books and then I think we get down to maybe that's all videos oh and I was showing you lamps as well and then down to albums etc really cool All right, everyone, we are in the Salvation Army thrift store in Latham, New York, and we're in the home goods section. This is in the way back of the store, and everything is set up via color. I think I skipped over the very first section because there was a couple shoppers there. So I kind of moved through this pretty quickly. I wanted you to see the prices on cups and saucers here are $4.69. And over at Goodwill, as you just saw in the other video, are $1.99. So I didn't see anything I was interested in grabbing today. But they definitely have some pretty things here. Let me know if you see something you would have grabbed and I, um, you know, passed by it. Let me know just so I know for the future what people are looking for. Also, don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell so that you'll be notified each time I post a video. I want to thank everybody that's commented, shared, liked, all the things my videos this past month in the month of January. It's really helped me grow and I appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I really, really do. And I hope that'll continue even though I'm not doing a giveaway in February. Um, but I hope you guys will still continue to comment and like and share and all the things. It, it really is helping me grow and I can't tell you how much it means to me. And your comments just warm my heart. They really, really do. So appreciated. So let's see. This is my third time doing the voiceover on this particular salvation trip. Um, I don't know what's going on today, but you know, hopefully <laughs> it's the best one. So I always like to check out white pieces. I feel like white can always filter in to anybody's, you know, china or, you know, everyday pieces. So I wanted you to check out the games. I'm contemplating adding some games into my booth. So um, I, I did check out. Just I'm nervous that all the pieces won't be there. And I wouldn't want to sell something that's not complete. So... Thank you so much for checking everything out. I hope you guys have a great weekend. I appreciate you so much. And until next time, have an absolute great one.